Welcome Aries to your activation. Exciting. Okay, Aries, um, for the activations, we are using Work Your Light Oracle cards. So what I've done is I've just picked out the, um, the cards that uh, actually do the activations. So yeah, so we will make sure you stick around because we'll be doing that at the end, okay? Um, but we're going to have a look at... Um, you know what is going on for you why you need this activation you know what it's all about really using the sacred spirit reading cards and the light seers tarot okay so let's get into it let me just move these a little bit more oh no i will leave them there so hopefully they catch any cards that go flying fingers crossed okay so what are we starting with what are we starting with um, I think we'll start with the Sacred Spirit reading cards. Let's just have a look here. Okay, so, righty. Aries. First up, we have Channel Your Knowledge. Critical Judgment. Very interesting already, Aries. First card, and I'm intrigued. I feel like Aries, um, first of all, especially with the word in critical judgment here, I feel like you are have got this internal dialogue going on, which is is clouding your your connection, clouding your connection. Um, I feel like what you need to do, Aries, is sit down and clear yourself and um, start doing some channeled writing, okay? Uh, because, yeah, I kind of feel as though... <sighs> information will come through if you allow yourself to be a clear channel, okay? Um, and the thing is that you're able to tap into some really good information. And, but for some reason, there's all this debris in your mind stopping that from happening. Far too many cards here. I'm sorry, Aries. Let's try again. Let's see what else I get from this card here. There's kind of just this feeling of going into that space of um, really creating that clear channel. And I feel like for some of you, that's quite a hard thing to do, to be honest with you. Okay, two cards. One, what have we got here? Ace of Wands. Oh, I love this. See? Yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. This, look at that. That's exactly what needs to happen is, is closing your eyes and allowing this third eye to start connecting in. Okay, so that you can bring that knowledge through. Could very well be for some of you areas that you do get knowledge and you're not recording it and then you may forget it. Okay, so I do feel as though that this needs to happen for you. This is the Hermit here. See, I love these cards because they bring such a different energy and different message. Um, yeah, I see here. So you see this person here is traveling this journey like with the Hermit, with the, um, the light here. And through the journey, Aries... As they become more and more connected here, right, um, because they channel their knowledge, yeah, um, they are able to guide their way with their own internal guidance system, with their own light, okay, and they are able to place down this handheld light because they don't need it anymore. It's kind of like using a um, some tools to, for you to guide yourself along the path or to guide you along the path 
and then you get to a point where you no longer need those tools. And it could very well be Aries that um, channeling your knowledge is going to allow you to um, tap into that internal guidance system a lot easier and be able to place those tools down that you're using to guide yourself along this path. Okay, Galactic Healer. Move forward with an open mind. Oh, this is so like, I'm just getting this fizzing feeling from the vibration of this card. I do wonder if for some of you, you could be a galactic healer. But it, I also feel, Aries, that it could be that you are able to work with some kind of galactic beings. Um, and... Maybe galactic healers. Maybe that's the information that you will channel through, potentially. You know, and that channeling as well, um, that's also, you know, channel, channeling through the journey upon which you walk, upon of which you walk, right? That path upon which you walk. <laughs> Getting that wording. <laughs> Honestly, Aries. Uh, anyway, uh, again, this third eye area is highlighted for me. Did I even show you that clear enough? No, I'm just so like in this energy right now, Aries, and I'm super excited. Move forward with an open mind. Okay. I love this. Oh, look at this. Look at this here. Um, we've got the Seven of Wands here and we have the Page of Swords. Sorry, I'm just trying to... I had I had written down everything on my computer rather than using the really, really little wording on the books. Because <laughs> I'll be like, ah, oh, you know, and yeah, it's just going to be easier. But um, I'm trying to keep my computer from from, you know, turning off so that I can see this for you when it's time and we're not spending time logging in and doing all that jazz. Anyhow, Aries, back to it. Seven of Wands. Oh, really? Okay. Some of you need to work on your solar plexus, okay? There's some sort of anxiety going on for you. Um, and maybe it is the case that this galactic healer can help you with this and the channeling that you can do um, to, to bring that knowledge through is going to help with this healing, okay? It's going to help with this healing of the solar plexus. I feel like there's, some of you feel like you're being quite um, attacked, I want to say. Um, like maybe you feel like <clears throat> people are coming at you um, and it, it's it's definitely possible for you Aries to rise above this and even this card here going up here um, it's possible for you to rise above it um, if you tap into this internal guidance system to lead your way because um, I also feel like this will open up that intuition, which is that gut feeling, right? Um, and <clears throat> I do feel, Aries, that this is going to help you immensely. We have the Page of Swords here as well. Like, <laughs> I just love this. Um, it's like these, not just one light bulb moment, but many light bulb moments. And I feel like, do you know what I feel like here, Aries? Is that this is your writing. This is you channeling your knowledge and writing it down, right? And then reading it, you're going to learn from yourself. And when you do that, Aries, you're not even going to know or remember necessarily what has come through because it's not from you. It's from source or from this galactic healer or this galactic connection of some sort. And this may very well help, well help you with any healing that needs to happen. Okay. 
lead the way, light your own path. Yes, Aries, this is exactly what we're talking about here. I love it. I just love it. I love it. Um, yeah, this is definitely, doing this, Aries, is going to help raise your vibration. It's going to help you connect in a lot better um, than what you otherwise could. I do wonder if for some of you areas you are trying to do this, but that it's just not coming through clearly. So this could very well help you along that way. Oh, I can't wait to see what your activation is going to be. Okay, so let's just have a look. Lead the way. Not Look at all those cards that came out for lead the way. Like seriously, Aries. We, can, we are not doing that. <laughs> okay, Aries. Lead the way. Eight of Pentacles, first off. Sorry, I'm just having a good gander at the card to see what I'm getting from it. Light your own path with Eight of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles, very interesting. Um, Eight of Pentacles. It, do you know what it feels like? You've got your hand in many pots. It feels like there's lots of things maybe that you're working on. It's, it's um, or I do want to say there's, there could be one thing that you're working on but there's many ways to approach it, or there's many aspects to it. And um, this is so cool. This is so very cool. Because I feel like this kind of vibration here, I'm getting from the Eight of Pentacles as well. It's like this colourful, like this, this oh, radiation of... Um, Of, I don't know, it's just kind of like radiation. It's radiating, there's something radiating out of you, and maybe this is your light, Aries. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, Aries. She is holding a candle here, and she's focusing on the candle. Okay, maybe this is one way for you to be able to tune in. Maybe this is a one way for you to clear your mind and start to channel your knowledge. If you're struggling with that or you're having trouble, light a candle, place it in front of you and focus on nothing but the candle. Okay, and any thoughts that come in, just let them drift off. Don't entertain them. Don't grab onto them. Just let them float past like, a bit like clouds in the sky. Okay? And um, that may very, very well help you. Because I feel like the candle, the, the flame on the candle is this flame within you. This light within you. Um, and, and that's interesting that that has come up with light your own path. I love that. I love that. We also have the five of pentacles here. And this is really, um, you know, when when this card comes out here talking about move forward with an open mind, okay, it's looking at all your options. Some of you may only be seeing um, one option. It, you know, you might have kind of like, how do I put it? You may think that there's no other way for you to progress um, and you're stuck. Some of you may feel stuck, but you see here how this person here is, is you know, um, pretty defeated and feeling very low. Um, and maybe as though they don't see that there's um, another way. They don't see the key here. For the door, it's like, oh, well, the door's locked. I can't get in. But they haven't actually checked things out enough to see that, in fact, the key is right there for them. Okay. Um, shield your energy. Yeah. Look beneath the surface. Right. Look beneath the surface. Um, 
and I do want to say with this when you are doing any sort of channeling or any sort of um, work like that you do need to shield yourself put a protection around yourself imagine yourself in a bubble of white light and um, make sure you're protected call on your guides call on the galactic healers to come and and help to protect you okay um, but I do want to say with look beneath the surface to you know if there's anything that's popping in your head to look into that further uh, because I feel like that will allow you to to maybe bring through a bit more okay and this may be for some of you Aries this may be quite foreign for you and you may feel like a little bit out of your depths to be honest um that's not too many cards there but yeah there we go that's how I wanted it to come out okay um page of wands looking at different ways that you can do this you know that this person here has this wand okay she's learning how to use the wand she's throwing it up in the air and seeing like working out its capabilities and I feel like that's the same for you Aries is to work out your capabilities see what it is you are capable of okay and then we have the nine of pentacles here <laughs> it's it's a, this is really like having fun um having fun with what it is that you're growing having faith in what you are growing having faith in what you are doing okay and um you know because we've got the eight of pentacles here and then we're moving to the nine here and what I love about this is that she's just, she's, she's standing in her power, okay, and it doesn't matter that it's a female, or females in these cards here, the gender isn't, isn't, um, doesn't add any weight to it, it doesn't mean that the message isn't for you because it's a female, um, it's the energy that is coming through here. And with these nine of pentacles, she has grown all these here. See, see the eight of pentacles here, how she's all these here have been um, designed and developed in different ways. But when we're talking about looking beneath the surface here, this one here, she's not just found different ways to grow them. She's got different sizes, there's different colors. So there's a lot more variety here that can be applied okay Aries so I feel like there's always more layers that can be added secret temptation being led astray so these are things that could be um that could, could be kind of like veering causing you to veer off off the path Okay, um, lead your own, light your own, lead the way, light your own path. So that could be the case. I immediately felt like, though, when this card came out, Aries, that it was your thoughts that are distracting you. Your thoughts, it's like every time you silence your mind, thoughts come in and they are louder than ever before. And I want to say Aries is to keep going, okay? Because what that is, um, and what this is, this is um, ego threatened. It's it's like this um, this energy here. See, we've got the Five of Cups has come out and the Two of Pentacles. It's this energy here of, um, of fear, um, of, of loss, of focusing on maybe what you don't have. Focusing on, it's kind of like, this is what I'm getting here, it's kind of like if, say, you like to party, for example. This is just an example. You like to party 
and you know that that isn't helping you to stay on your path and it's a distraction for you from where it is you know in your soul where you're meant to be heading um that um you feel like you're going to miss out if you aren't doing that okay but what i want to say about that is that what you don't realize is when you're on that path there are other things that are so much better than that that you're going to be able to soak yourself in okay we've got the two of pentacles as well it's sort of like that decision it's that that choice of which way do you want to go and it's also try, you trying to juggle things so that um, I feel like, Aries, it's, it's almost as though trying to keep everybody happy. But in the meantime, it's not actually you who's being taken care of, if you like. Which is pretty interesting that I got that. Kundalini rising, ignite your passion for life. Yep, see, doing this, this is not igniting your passion, okay? It's kind of like this is what is passionate for you. You know, these wands coming out here, this is your passion, you know? So it really is tapping into that, Aries, finding that passion for yourself and um, and seeing how potentially could you actually make a living from that even, you know? Um, yeah. But let's have a look. Give me two cards for Kundalini Rising for Aries, please. Two cards. Not 20. Two. You know, this Two of Pentacles and this Five of Cups, it's not the Hermit energy that we started out with. So this will help you uh, in the Ace of Wands that we started out with. And this Ace of Wands is this passionate new beginning. This is, you know, you've got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles here. Learning, you know, really tapping in to, to what it is that sets your soul on fire, Aries. Okay, we have the Emperor <laughs> and the Sun. I love this. This is totally you. This is you, Aries. Kundalini rising. This is rising up into your power, right? The emperor, he knows. He has his empire. He knows what he's doing. He ain't got... He knows. He knows his shit, man. He knows. <laughs> so, you know, um, and, and this is going to lead to amazing, amazing, like, the sun. Come on. Like, you know, this is incredible. But also... I'm noticing here, this connection here with the sun, this coming down here, right? And when we're talking about this channeling the knowledge and the galactic healer, right? See, the empire, he just sits there and he knows how to do all this. He's got this down packed. And I feel like for you, Aries, put this into practice and you will absolutely be able to bring forth knowledge for people to help them you, maybe that's what that gal galactic healer is maybe you're the galactic healer bringing through the knowledge to help heal people okay so let's just have a look here Alrighty. okay so council of light very cool. Very, very, very cool. I'm so excited. Okay, Divine Orchestration, Helpers of the Subtle Realms. Right, let me just get my handy dandy computer and Council of Light. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up to the screen so you can see it while I read this. Are you ready? Okay, here it is. Right now, you don't need to do anything. Just listen to the words, okay? Can you see that all right? Okay. 
The Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness on the planet. They are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. How cool. Anyway, sorry. Calm down. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it is time to ask them. They can help with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spirit realm. They are willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like help with? What tasks would you like to delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of Ascended Masters, Light Beings, Angels and Guides devoted to the rising of Earth and all humanity. If you are a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission. And I would dare say, Aries, that if you are watching this reading, then you are more than likely a light worker. Like a spirit world united nations, they want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put in your requests and let them get to work. Okay, Aries, so normally you would hold the card on, against your heart, okay? But what I want you to do is I want you to place your hand on your heart, maybe your left hand, I don't know why, but for some reason I'm getting your left hand, and then just focus on this card and um, say out loud. So I'm going to say a few words and then leave time for you to say them. So do that out loud if you can, Aries. Okay, so here we go. Hand on heart. Okay. Council of Light. I am ready to receive your help. For fulfilling my personal dharmic mission. Thank you for guiding me with clarity every step of the way and for sending me Helpers and experiences that delight my mind, body and soul. Wonderful, Aries. Um, I, Aries, would say to you to come back and maybe do this every day if you feel the need. Um, I feel like this is going to help you over the next couple of weeks to really um, ignite your, you, you know, ignite this path, ignite your passion for your path. Um, and also make sure that you, are, you know, this could very well, this could be something that you ask them for help with to channel this knowledge, to clear that way for yourself here so um yeah this is super cool please please let me know in the comments how you get on with this Aries because I am intrigued and I'm I'm invested in your journey Aries which is why I'm doing this um so as an exchange of energy please subscribe and like and share these videos um also Aries each day a new one comes out um and it might be the same that pops up it might be something different if you if there's anything that you're appealed to and it's not your star sign do it like if you feel that pull towards it 
do it because it could be a activation an activation that you need on top of that and you can come back and do this at any time okay Aries wonderful good luck with that okay Aries take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye